surveyed all this damage today. You've been here I know, once before at least. Tell me what's going through your mind right now. Uh, the amount of de devastation, this is catastrophic. And uh, until people actually see it, and uh, until they hear from people and hear what they experienced that day, it is, uh, those are powerful stories. Uh, and I think that what we need to do is realize these communities, they need our help, they need our support. Uh, let's complete rescues, let's get into cleanup and recovery and help people restore their lives. So tell, tell me, how do you feel about the federal resources and response, and are you pleased with the response that you've seen so far? You know, we all, we all wish FEMA would work, and that we all wish FEMA would work faster, and it has been a little bit frustrating, but the good thing is I'm in contact with our mayors and sheriffs. Yesterday I talked to every one of these mayors to see if FEMA had reached out to them. And then, of course, yesterday we completed the request to upgrade our declaration to a major disaster, which will mean more resources. So we're in daily contact. My team up here, Michael Hensley and Kim Cordell, worked all weekend. And they are working every day, full time, making certain that people know they're here to help, helping them know how to get in the queue, how to access resources, and also with employers and businesses and uh, the nonprofits that are out here. And tell me, what are you doing to bolster support right now, and how long can it take for things like this bridge to be rebuilt? Well, the bridge is going to be handled by TDOT in cooperation with the U.S. Department of Transportation. I know that Secretary Buttigieg and uh, Commissioner Ely have been in contact, and we'll go through this process of what is a federal, a state, and a local partnership. There are different responsibilities, and our goal is to make certain that federal resources are here as quickly as possible, that they're not encumbered by a lot of red tape, and that communities and individuals have what they need to rebuild.